In this video, we will learn about uh, how we can make uh, clickable cards. So for this demo, I have uh, created two filters. The first one is the product category and second one is the country. And here you can see uh, there are three measures that I have created, uh, black, red and white. If I click black, so here you can see uh, this one is the formula for the black. Uh, let me show you uh, this one and in the same way we have for the red and uh, white and uh, then i have added uh, three cards here and then i have put one measure for the black and uh, for the red and white and now the uh, question is uh, for example if i click here 129 and if i select any value here for example accessories and I'm getting three black uh, products. And if I click uh, here, then I should get those three products in the second page. So this is the requirement. And then in the same way, if I select any country here, so here you can see we are getting one black and one red. And if I click any card, so I should get the relevant result, right? So how we can do that, if you click here, with the black card and go to the format you will see there is no action uh, available right so what we can do this we can achieve uh, this functionality with the help of uh, sync slicers and uh, bookmarking so how we can do that first of all we need to uh, click the view and then we have to add a sync slicer this one and uh, then you need to select uh, for example this slicer and uh, you need to check uh, here you can see there are two pages one is the dashboard and the other one is the products so select this one and uh, then uh, here you can see there is uh, like visible if you want to show this slicer on the next page or not because we don't want to show this slicer on the next page so we will only take uh, only the sync this one products this one so we can also make uh, this color uh, we can name it like uh, red products this one and go to the dashboard select this one and uh, this is the red product and then again the second slicer and again dashboard and red products this one so here you can see if i select anything like a clothing and go to the uh, red product it will be empty uh, let's add the product category as well so that we can visualize this properly English product category name and we can rename it like a category this one so here you can see we are uh, everywhere you can see the clothing so here you can see we have selected here clothing right and uh, then we what we need to do here we need to take uh, the product color this one and uh, put into the filter this page and here we have to select a red color this one and uh, you can see the red color is empty right and in the same way let's try to create uh, duplicate this page and we can rename it like uh, black products and in the same way let's duplicate this one to the white products so for the black product we just take the color and put into the filter here uh, let's delete this one and uh, take the color and choose black this one 
and for the white we just need to choose the the white one this one right so all filters are there and uh, what we need to do now let's try to add uh, one let's try to create uh, bookmarks for the red products we need um, bookmarks and uh, we can say red and then we need to click here three dots and uh, we need to uncheck data because we don't want to save the this uh, um, the condition of uh, this data here because this data will be changed depending on the selection in the dashboard so we don't need uh, this one and then we just need to update update and uh, in the same way black and uh, create one more bookmark for the black and here we need to uncheck after update and in the same way we need to click white and uh, add one bookmark for the white and here again we need to uncheck white and update this one right so go back and for the slicer if you click here and uh, you can see red white black everything is selected and in the same so both are uh, both slices are there right so no we don't need uh, this tab so what we do now we need to add one button here like insert and uh, then there is a button so just take the blank button and uh, take it here and then we need for example background off and uh, then we just control c copy and uh, control v paste here then again control c control v and here right so for the black so because uh, the action functionality is available for the button so we have stacked with this button here and go to the action turn it on and then click the then choose the bookmark and here you have to choose the the tab that is a uh, black and in the same way for the red need to turn on then choose bookmark and red and in the same way white you need to turn on type is bookmark and white this one so that's all so you can do what you can do here you can make it just hide because you don't want to show uh, these tabs when you will deploy on the report server or the power bi service so that's all so so now let's try to click for example canada and here you can see we are getting uh, 11 red so if i click here control and then enter so here you can see we are getting this result for all the canada and the category is bikes and accessories because we haven't choose any uh, category here and uh, in the same way if you select anything for example france and uh, the color of white so here you can see we are getting two rows here right so in this way you can with the help of uh, slicers sync slicers and uh, bookmarks cards and uh, blank button you can achieve this functionality if you like this video please subscribe our channel and if you have any question 
please write from the comment section thank you